it's time for another chit chat girl today i decided to do my face i'm in the middle of doing several videos um today i, I figured i would while my husband is still off these next few days take advantage of that and try to do as many videos as possible plus homeschooling officially starts for us next week oh child we'll go over that soon um i got some new frames i don't know about these y'all i purchased them through fermo that's why I get all the glasses y'all be um, commenting on. <laughs> so, I'm taking down my hair. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. I don't think I'm gonna separate. That's pretty, and Nick's used the background noise. My husband and JB are outside. So y'all know how we do that. Let's jump right into it because we don't know how long they are gonna be outside. We're gonna talk about what's been going on in my personal life, what I've been watching on YouTube, and what I've been watching on TV. So, do I look light skinned? Yeah, look, let me tell y'all something. There is nothing wrong with light brights. There's nothing wrong with fair skinned people. My sister's light skinned. Half the people in my family are, are light, lighter skinned. So, I just need to look chocolate on my videos because I'm not, you know, a medium tone. Um, anyway, y'all, all over the place. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. It already looks flat. So, y'all, personal life. Homeschooling for us officially starts next week. Um, we had made the decision to homeschool way back in March. My husband being in the medical field, let me zoom in so y'all can get all this goodness. Oh girl, that's my, that's my cornbread, hold on. <laughs> Alright y'all, we, we're going to discuss eating um, carbs in a minute though. But anyway, my husband had, um, I remember back in March I had nonchalantly said, so do you think... I should keep him home the upcoming year. And he looked at me, he's like, he can't absolutely go to school right now. I am not a teacher, but I do work in the educational field. I, I work in healthcare IT, but my background has been adult education, um, specifically when it comes to online learning. So I'm very familiar with the online format, the platform, that's what I do. I am by trade a learning management administrator. I basically help with registrations, problems with online training. So I get online training as it pertains to adults. Now, in my field, it is extremely challenging to do online training extended. Um, it is typically, uh, it, it's more effective if, if it's broken up into small segments. So for example, 45 minutes to an hour. We have these kids, from what I understand, they're doing online all day. And I've already seen some of the concerns from parents. And let me just say this, because I'm seeing a lot of the shaming going on as far as what parents go, oh, you shouldn't be taking your kids to school because, or you're not smart to let your, your child go to school because they're gonna get sick. Or on the flip side, you don't have any faith, you lack faith. It doesn't make any sense to keep your kid at home. Kids need to be in school. Let me tell you something. Nobody has the right to tell another person what to do with their own child. Every parent should make the decision based on their family structure, their family lifestyle. I can't tell somebody what to do. Now, I'm going to hear you out. I'm going to listen to you, but I'm not going to point my finger at you and judge you based on your decision for your child. I, at the end of the day, y'all, everybody wants their child to be safe. Nobody wants their kid to get the Rona. No one wants their elderly parents or whoever they have living with them to get sick. Hell, we don't want to get sick ourselves. So those of you here watching, the, whatever decision that you make for your family, for your child, is the best decision for you, okay? It really doesn't matter. Um, so with that being said, um, look, now I say that with that being said, online learning is challenging for adults, so even more so for parents. And I'm seeing the only people who I am defending in this moment are teachers. Parents, absolutely parents because I'm a parent, but I don't think you guys realize that when you switch delivery methods like that, you have to switch up how you teach it. Most of these teachers were trained to teach instructor led, meaning in front of students, young students at that. Online training also in order for it to be effect effective, it needs to be engaging. After 15, 20 minutes with well, some of these kids, some of the older ones are okay. But with the younger kids, after 15, 20 minutes, they're done. So baby, I've been seeing all types of comments from parents, unfortunately, who are struggling. 
let me just say their children are struggling struggling with the online education i have one friend who tried it <sighs> thought he was crying she tried it with her fifth grader um and after a week she's like i'm done can anyone tell me of any school or can i get a tutor to come by i'll hire a tutor to come by to teach my child because i have to work she works from home. She's a, she's a real estate agent, agent, but she's like, I'm working 60 hours. And I'm like, oh God, I, I reached out to her. I'm like, Kirby, I totally get it. Now they can do it. They can adapt, but it's going to be a struggle. Okay. So let me get off my soapbox. With that being said, we are using an online platform called A Time for Learning, but we are only doing um, math, science, and language arts. I was offered social studies, we're not doing it. Um, and we're only doing math, and excuse me, we're only doing two of those subjects that are online twice a day and we're breaking it up in the morning and in the, in the afternoon. School will start at nine o'clock and I'm hoping we will be done between 12 and one. Um, if we're struggling in some areas, we're gonna back off. We're going to take, you know, two breaks a day, not a lot, two breaks. Um, class will go from Tuesday to Friday, okay? Now, next week, uh, like I said, actually tomorrow we start, and I am kind of nervous, y'all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front, guys. But next week will just basically be a review of first grade, okay? Not doing a lot. Um, and we, we do have quite a bit of subjects. Um, Arizona is very relaxed as it pertains to homeschooling. We don't have to track stuff. We don't have to have a certain number of hours. But me being the person that I am, I'm still going to be keeping track of all that. Now, I know that it will be a struggle for the first two weeks because we've been out of school for a while. But learning does not have to be so formal. You know what I mean? For example, last week, JB and I... <laughs> Y'all know my child is different. JB and I went to, um, he wanted to stop by a GNC store. GNC is a well-known vitamin healthcare store. They are suffering economically right now, like a lot of company, a lot of stores are. And so he saw the closing signs and he's like, oh, I wanna stop there, they're closing. And I said, okay, let's stop there. So we stopped by, we took pictures, and then I asked him, I'm like, baby, do you want to, would you like to look at some videos um, about GNC to get some background history? Now, I know my child. That's stuff he likes to look at, <laughs> y'all. This is a boy, the first week that uh, we were shut in, he built a makeshift Kmart. And then the, a couple of weeks after that, he built, he built a Sears. Because he's like that, okay? He has an old soul. So anyway, what we did is we watched a story, excuse me, a, a video on GNC. And then GNC is a franchise. And then we watched a video as it pertains to franchises. And then we watched another video um, regarding stocks. Now, I know he's not going to take all of that in, but especially the background in regards to GNC. He really enjoyed that, okay? Fast forward it to just yesterday. Was it yesterday? Y'all, I'm hot, hell. Um, I am gonna separate some of this. Just yesterday, he saw some video came up and it talked about a computer, some old school computer. And JB just nonchalantly asked me, he's like, um, do you know what an IBM 5150 is? And I'm like, of course I do, y'all I'm lying. I'm like, yeah, of course I do. He looks at me, he's like, mama, do you know what an IBM 5150 is? I'm like, no, I don't. He looks so frustrated. He's like, he's like, we discussed this yes, uh, last year. I explained to you what this was last year. So you know what? He says, you know what? I'm going to make you a computer and then you're gonna look at this video. <laughs> you're gonna look at this 30 minute video. So that was an example of um, me being educated because clearly I didn't know anything. So anyway, y'all, um, what I'm watching on YouTube, girl, cooking food. Girl, nobody. I saw that Colored Beautiful had released another video. Um, and it was, uh, I think it was Makeup Over 40. I knew she was in her 40s. How old is she, you guys? How old is she? She like 45, 40, 44, 45? Look, I'm gonna be doing all my videos like that now that I turn 40. <laughs> Child, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. Uh, get ready with me, 40 plus. Chit chat 40, twist out 40, braid out, wash day over 40 plus. Girl, I've been 40 for like three, four, three or four days, but I'm, I'm, I'm wise now. I know, I know who I am. Y'all, let me pull this hair back. I want it to be cute, but 
I could still be cute. Y'all see how that fell in my face like that? Tell me why a couple of days ago, my hair was in twists like you see now. Oh, this is cute. My hair was in twists. It fell in front of me. I screamed. My ass thought it was a snake. Girl. Sorry, y'all. A snake. Come on, Vivian. Come on, sis. No. So, y'all, no. I'm not really watching much of anything on YouTube. Um, I did catch What's the Name's video, African Haircut God. Some of his video, his live was a very long live. Like, it was seven hours. Yeah, I caught bits and pieces of that. Um... There's really no one I've been watching, y'all. I get on YouTube to look at stuff real quick and I get off. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Let me look at my history. If I look at my history, it'll probably be JB's Madness. Yeah, there's really not much of anything that I was watching. You know what I was watching, y'all? This is so crazy. For some reason, they came up on my recommendation why one of Six and Park ended. Y'all, I love, I loved me so one of Six and Park. But before, well, this guy must have been young because he was talking about it like you know he was in high school when it came out. Before one of Six and Park, BET had y'all remember Donnie Simpson? Simpson with those pretty eyes. And who was that? Um, the island girl with the pretty long hair, the light skin, helpful with the pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she was cute, but I remember one. I just remember, first of all, I do remember Aaliyah and R. Kelly being on there. I remember that that episode. It was so cringe worthy. Um, and didn't Donnie Simpson have a host with him? She had short hair. I vaguely remember. Yeah, I love BET back then. And then y'all, I'm a bit of a nerd, so. Doing the 90s VH1 pop-up video, baby, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was so into alternative music, R.E.M., the Cranberries. I listened to all of that, girl. Um, all the music back then, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Y'all, I listened to a lot of different music, right? So, I just remember the, the music, the channels that were music-focused, they actually played videos and it was it was fun it was it was a good time it was a good era the 90s early 2000s the music was awesome so yeah that's why i was looking i looked at that entire video because it brought me back so many memories so i didn't realize that there was a rumor with free supposedly having an affair with jay-z and, and having a baby by him and that was one of the reasons why she left the show now i thought it was because because y'all know free and aj were older <laughs> <laughs> they were in the 30s and we all thought they were like our age you know what I mean I thought the reason why free left the show was because she had posed for King magazine King was an adult magazine and she posed for it and that's the reason why I thought but apparently not I didn't hear the thing about Jay-Z but then again I was a little young back then so I wouldn't have um besides that yeah I'm going through my history look food spicy chicken salad girl Doja Cat responds to Nas. Wow. Um, I did finish Rain, The Rain, which is Danish. I finished all of it. Did I tell you all that? I finished it. Okay, so I have some movies that are in my watch thing that I want to watch. Girl, why did I watch? Why did I act Cloud Atlas? That is the weirdest ass movie. I liked it though. Y'all, I can't get into the Umbrella Academy. I don't know, there's something about it. I'm like, I can't do it. Back to watching The Stranger. Why am I talking loud? Back to watching The Stranger. Let me go to my list, y'all. I added Project Power, okay? 3% for some reason came up. Not gonna do it. I have Bates Motel that I'm gonna watch. Bates Motel, I'm gonna go ahead and watch it. Um, yeah, what is this? Lost Bullet. There is a... South African movie I was watching. I think it was called Single Girls or something like that. I'm like, y'all are a mess. It, it's just something to watch. You know what I mean? I knew it wasn't going to be good, but just something to keep me entertained. Um, I know a couple of you guys have recommended that stripping series. I can't get, I can't do it. I'm pretty sure I could get into it, but right now I'm trying not to like, I have enough ratchet stuff I'm watching. I can't do too much ratchet at the same time. I just can't do it. Now, when I'm done with 90 Day Fiance, the first 90 Days, child, these folks, I don't get it. Like, I, I mean, look, I'm trying to get my husband to watch it, and he's like, uh-uh, I'm not looking at this mess. I can't do it, y'all. He is so, he's like, are these people paid? Are they actors? This, this can't be real. They can't be this ignorant. I'm like, yeah, they are. 
They're, they're this ignorant and desperate. Hold on, y'all. So, yeah, girl, that is all I'm watching. Y'all give me some other recommendations. Now, I am going to um, watch The Stranger with Blue Contrell and... <laughs> call that girl that um so let me finish i'm gonna finish vera and i'm gonna get hbo back so there's some um series coming up on there that i definitely want to watch so y'all i know this has been a little bit fast i've been watching seriously single that's a south african movie that i watch seriously single and that's it y'all i uh, know this this chit chat was not all that i know y'all i do apologize I'll, I'll bring it next time so that girl i'm adding this uh, mini chit chat in the middle of this chit chat. Y'all, you have to excuse me, baby, but I want to talk about this. Baby, sometimes family ain't shit, and y'all have to excuse my language, because when I got this news, <clears throat> not my family. I'm, this is not pertaining to my family. I love my family. God has blessed me with, with a great family. Speaking of, I was on the phone with my mama, and she's like, did you hear what happened? Um, you ever watch that show, Sweetie Pie? I'm like, yeah, I love that show. I, I, matter of fact, I remember when she tried that for that show, Oprah had this contest and you had to submit a video on why you should have your own show. And so the owner of Sweetie Pies, so the owner of Sweetie Pies, her name is Robbie, you guys, Ms. Robbie, who if you guys aren't familiar, Ms. Robbie used to be a background singer for Ike <coughs> and Tina Turner. And I remember just um, her talking about on one episode, um, her comforting Tina Turner and seeing the bruises and all that. So yeah, I watched the show because I watched it from when she got the show and all the seats and I saw all the BS that was going on in the show. Um, and I saw when even Andre came on the show, right? Y'all love me some Charles. And so my mom was like, well, you heard, you knew about, um, her grandson that got killed. I mean, yeah, I've been following what's been going on. I heard, I remember him getting killed, you know, getting shot, which was sad because she had, on Miss Robbie's show, on Miss Sweetie Pie's reality show, she had brought her grandson down, his name was Andre, so that basically to get him off the streets, to so he could have a better life. She watched him graduate from high school and all that, and Tim was trying to mentor him. Um, then there was the other cousin. Is it Char uh, Ch is Charles a cousin? Basically a relative. Charles was there and he works in one of the restaurants. And so, um, I never really liked him. Bad built ass. Y'all, I, <laughs> I hate to talk about people, physical appearance, because you can't help that. But this man has got to be one of the most narcissistic, oh, just his attitude was always stinky. Um, he had served time. I don't know how long he was in prison, but he was in prison for a, a good, a good time, right? But honey, when I saw his, he got hips and an ass. He He's built like his name is Shirley and he used to sell food stamps in the 80s. That, that's how he's built. He's a man built all, all types of hips and butt. They're gonna really, we're gonna get to that. So, um, I remember when his girlfriend on the show was pregnant and he treated her like, like crap. I'm gonna try not to curse y'all, but I'm on one this morning. He treated her like crap. Then he was very disrespectful to his mama. He, he just always, in my opinion, the feeling I got from Tim was it was never good enough. He always wanted more. Basically, he was greedy. Um, I stopped watching this show after they had opened up the other restaurant because I just didn't like his attitude. And I could tell Miss Robbie was struggling to hold on to stuff. And he was wanting to grow. In my opinion, I'm not a business owner. Don't know anything about running a restaurant. But in my opinion, it seems like he was want to do things too fast too soon and i could tell robbie was kind of wanting to hold back something and she didn't want to but tim was like no we gotta do this and do that and and you know he wanted all these grand things and uh she just wasn't feeling it now tim miss robbie's son hired someone to kill her grandson his own cousin he was just a child how old was he because, I mean, I remember seeing him graduate from high school, and I know it's been a certain number of years, but he was just a child. And this is the thing that pissed me off. Kill, kill your old family, own family, over $450,000. I guess he took out an insurance policy on his own cousin. Are you crazy? So, but the thing that really may have me looking at him in a different light, like, you a damn psychopath. He actually had the audacity to take, to go with his mama, the camera crews were following him, and the areas where other family members had been killed. His own daddy had been killed. While Miss Robbie was pregnant with him. Cousins. And then they went to the area, I guess, where this young man had been Are you serious? That is sick, y'all. There's something wrong with him. 
But honey, with those wide hips and that ass, they gonna love you in prison town. He is never getting out. Now, I know people are saying, well, we have to, you know, wait till everything comes out. And I agree with you, guilty, you know, innocent until proven guilty. But those hips don't lie, baby. Those, <laughs> I'm not trying to make funny of it, but y'all, I am so, I am, I am just beyond amazed at how low people can go. 2020 has been a very revealing year. I will say that it has been very revealing of people's true nature. So y'all, that is it. I wanted to include this little tidbit in this chit chat because I'm like, this is, this is crazy. Just crazy, girl. So anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.